This video is a first in a series of videos where I'm going to be updating or upgrading my MacBook. Uh, this MacBook's about two years old. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, 250 gigabyte hard drive out of it and replace it with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I'm going to put that in there, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to have to format the drive uh, in a Mac format so that it can actually recognize it so I can put the operating system on it. Uh, let me zoom in here. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to format it in the Mac OS Extended Journaled. And uh, I'll show you the drive. I have it right here in front of me. It's hooked into a um, external drive caddy. Um, I have it open because I just don't feel like closing it. Uh, I'm going to format it. It should take a couple minutes. And then I will actually show you how to install it into this computer. The ultimate goal I have for this MacBook is to make it a triple boot machine. Um, I have the latest edition of, of Mac OS X, Snow Leopard. Uh, I will be putting that back on the machine. And I uh, am going to uh, put Windows 7 on there as well as Ubuntu uh, 10.04. So I'm going to, that's going to be a series of videos. It's the first in the series. And uh, let's get to it. All right, I got my MacBook on a pillowcase here. Um, that way I don't scratch it up when I turn it upside down. This is made out of acrylic and it will scratch fairly easily. Uh, the first thing you need to do is pop the battery out. So you got to turn this over and you got to find this little locking mechanism here. Uh, you can put a coin in there to unlock it. I'm just going to try and use my fingernail, see if I can do that. Moves fairly easily. The battery comes up, just pop it out and put that to the side. Now, the goal of this is you want to remove these three screws in here and remove this L bracket here. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to try this screwdriver. It's a, it's a Phillips number zero. Let's see if this works. And that works perfectly. So just loosen up these screws. Don't take them out of the L bracket because you want to keep them in there and you don't want to lose them. So just unscrew them. All right. Now, all you need to do is pull this L bracket off and set it to the side. Now, if you look under where the locking mechanism is, you'll see that's your hard drive there. It's in a little caddy and it has a, uh, a pull tab on it here. So you want to get behind the pull tab and just pull this out. All right. Now what you want to do on this is you want to take a uh, a Torx T8 screwdriver and remove these four screws on there. So let me go get my screwdriver and we will start that up. All right, you just want to remove all these screws and put them to the side, make sure you don't lose them. All right, then what you want to do is just remove this and put this on the new, put this caddy on your new hard drive. What I want to do now is put the new drive in and just match up the screw holes here and start putting them back together. This whole process is very easy 
and quick, the process that's going to be long and arduous is getting everything back on this hard drive, starting with the operating system and all the programs that I have to put on there and get it back to normal. But at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it because I'll have a lot more space. And like I said, I'm going to make this a triple boot machine. So I'm going to devote a good chunk of that space to Windows 7 and Ubuntu because I really want to try out Linux. I've dabbled in it a little bit before, but I've never actually used it on a daily basis. And when I have it on my laptop here, I'll be able to take a week at a time and just see if it's something that that I can use for long periods of time. One more screw. Kind of holding this awkwardly. I'm trying to make sure I have it in the camera shot here. All right, one more. All right, just make sure everything's nice and tight. And there we go. That's pretty much it. All we have to do now is put everything back the way we found it. Remember this tab? Just make sure it's folded under so it doesn't get in the way. And just slide your new drive into the machine. Make sure you get in there nice and snug. And you want to put the L bracket back on. So just situate it in here. Tighten down all the screws. One more to go. And there we go. Bracket back in. Now you just want to put the battery back in. Just make sure the contacts meet, which is real easy. And then you just got to lock it back down. So I'm going to try and use my fingernail again. It seemed to work the first time. And there we go. Locked back into place. And we're ready to go. All installed. Pretty easy. Like I said, the next part is putting the operating system on. And that's going to be at least a couple hour ordeal uh, and then putting all my programs back on but like I said at the end of the day it's gonna be worth it so I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, like I said it's the first in a series of a couple videos the next one um, I'm gonna be doing is putting um, triple booting the machine there's gonna be a series of three videos on it so till next time take care